All right, let's not waste any time. Garden vegetable, a Sunday soup. What do I have to say about this soup? Don't eat dirt if you don't have to. Out of a one to 10, I rate the soup a no. Next soup, tortellini, a Thursday soup. I could tell this soup was really trying to be a better soup than it was. So despite the fact that it was gross, I will respect its efforts and give it a participation award of two out of 10. Next soup, chicken noodle, a Saturday soup. Now the good thing about the soup is it's not bad. It's just depressing. You know that feeling you get when you lie in bed all day doing absolutely nothing and there's just this blah, empty void in your head? Eating chicken noodle is just like physically eating that emotion. I don't feel happy or sad. I feel nothing. Chicken noodle is nothing. So while I wouldn't say chicken noodle is terrible, I would just say it's emotionally unhealthy. Three out of ten. Next soup. Country chicken noodle. A Tuesday soup. Now this soup is exactly like regular chicken noodle, except the noodles are squigglier. And I will say that something about the noodles being squigglier does bring me some sense of joy. So I'll bump it up two points and bring it to a five. Next soup. Gumbo. A Friday soup. Flavor-wise, this soup is flawless. Absolutely delicious. But there is no justifiable reason for why I should be crying when I eat my dinner. Why is this soup so spicy? Other soups talk much quieter. Hi, I'm Chicken Noodle. Yes, you are, buddy. You are Chicken Noodle. You suck. Gumbo is much more- I am gumbo. Taste my wrath. Taste it. The spice. Let it fill your veins. Inhale the fury of death. So gumbo has three points taken off for the fact that it needs to shut up. Seven out of 10. Next soup. Chuck wagon. A Wednesday soup. Chuck wagon is cool. Eight out of 10. Next soup. The finest and greatest soup of all the soups. The moment we've been waiting for this entire video. The height of human existence. Hearty bean. A Monday soup. I love beans. When I'm home from college, I eat one can of pinto beans for lunch every day. So I will admit that I have a slight bias towards beans. But all that aside, even if you don't have a bias towards beans, I believe this will be the soup for you. If you're going to my college, which I won't say what my college is because why and, and privacy, then I recommend going to get yourself some hearty bean on Monday. Cheer up the beginning of your week with a super soup, hearty bean. No soup has ever been better. Thank you all for watching our soup review. I'm sure this was a very valuable use of your time. I hope you have a lovely day and stay super. Thank you.